Hey YouTube, it's Becky. Um, this is going to be number four in my ethics series. It is going to be about personal sacrifice in reference to magic and magical ethics. And I got this um, idea from Marlin's Universe, so mwah, thank you very much for the idea, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so as far as personal sacrifice goes, I really like the idea. I really like the idea of sacrificing yourself for the good of the universe. You know, I've always agreed with the idea of not only giving physical objects and errands and good deeds and even the negative energy that you hold inside yourself, just all the stress that you hold inside yourself, just giving it back to the earth because the earth needs the energy to thrive, to grow and nurture each one of us into being who we are now. I feel that good deeds and donating and um, giving your energy and um, giving your energy to, to an, a good cause is good as long as your intentions are in the right place. Um, if your intentions are in the right place when you do something, then it's going to turn good. It may not, you know, you may not get a million, a check for a million dollars in your mail, but you'll feel good and you'll be able to help somebody, you know, in one way or another. So, honestly, if you are going to do a spell or do magic for, let's say, the people who are struggling in Haiti, um, after the um, natural disaster that happened there. If you want to help them out, that is awesome, and I really feel it's a good idea. Honestly, on Samhain, I'm that's one of my ideas, is to actually do magic to help out the people that are struggling, the women that are struggling in Africa, um, the women that are struggling in thermal nations all over the world that are getting circumcisions just because of the the male dominance in that society so and that's a good thing because I want to help somebody and not because you know I'm hoping that you know somebody will help me out that's not a reason to do magic and you have to look at your reasoning and say eh, am I gonna be reaping bad karma from this you have to realize that good karma doesn't always work the way that you think it's gonna work so as long as your, you know, your reason for doing magic is to help to spread good karma and to spread good energy, you know, I'm not saying sacrifice yourself to the point where you're not going to want to reap the benefits, you know, like, I'm going to give you an example. I helped my friends out a lot when I was starting magic because I felt like, you know, if I... If I did something, then they would do something back for me. Not true at all. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I ended up getting carpal tunnel because I wrote so much. See your ear. Yeah, I have carpal tunnel. And it's because I'm a big writer, and I used my writing skills to help them out and write spells for them. And my bad karma turned into um, a debilitating disorder that I'm going to have to get surgery to remove. So, good karma and good deeds do not always work out the way that you want them to, especially if your heart is not in the right place when you do them. So, if you want to stop smoking to be a healthier person, if you want to um, donate, if you want to donate food to the food bank because you want people to have food and you want them to be better... As long as you're not hoping that, you know, because I donated some cans to the food bank, I'm going to get, you know, a new Miata in the parking lot of my house, in the parking lot of my apartment with my name on the um, pink slip, be realistic. Be realistic about why you do your magic, and especially in the matter of self-sacrifice, because if you're going to be sacrificing something of yourself, something else is going to come in its place. And you have to think about what you want in that place. Do you want to feel better about yourself because you did something good? Or do you want to have some kind of bad karma come back because you want to reap the benefits of what you do rather than actually feel good about what you did? I hope that my point came across. 
um, because I, I tend to ramble. But um, at the same time, I'm, I'm really excited that you um, gave me the idea, and congratulations on uh, your weight loss and your um, quitting smoking. It's awesome. I also quit smoking recently, so... Uh, um, <laughs> um, just continue to remove those negative things out of your life because if you continue to hold negative things in your life including negative people negative jobs negative circumstances you you're gonna be in some kind of muck you're always gonna be in that muck and until you rise above it you're never gonna reap the benefits of that so continue to search for the light and you'll continue to have good things around you.